In this video, I'm planning on showing you some of the common forms of the ideal gas. So first, let's look at this form. So PV is equal to RT. And this V, this small v, is the specific volume. So what this means is that this is a volume, so volume per mass. So the little v, the little v means that it's a specific volume. And this R is the gas constant. And this R is different for different gases. So this R is different for different gases. And it's equal to, so R is equal to the universal gas constant over the molar mass. So this is the universal gas constant. And this is the molar mass. And you can look up the universal gas constant on, like so if you look at gas constant on Wikipedia, you'll get some values for, it says values of R, but it's really values for RU, the universal gas constant. So some examples of those are like 8.314 joules per Kelvin mole. Or another one is 1.987 kilocal per Kelvin mole. Another one is 8.205 meters cubed atmosphere per Kelvin mole. So as, so as far as this RU, you can look this up and the value that you're going to use will just depend on what units you have in your problem. So you want to use a universal gas constant that has units that match the units you're already using, otherwise you'll have to do some conversions. If you want to use this R, so this um, R here, you'll either need to look that up on a table for the specific gas that you're using, or you'll need to calculate it. So, and you can calculate it with the universal gas constant divided by the molar mass. So now let's look at some other forms of the ideal gas law. So the specific volume, we've already defined that the specific volume is equal to the volume over the mass. So in other words, V, little v, is equal to big V over the mass. So what we can do is replace the specific volume in this equation with the volume over the mass. So P big V over M is equal to RT. And then this equation is normally written like this. So I'm just going to multiply the mass over. So PV is equal to M RT. So you'll see this form of the ideal gas law pretty frequently as well. Now let's look at this M, so mass multiplied by, by the gas constant. So MR is equal to, so specifically the mass is equal to the molar mass multiplied by the number of moles. So this M is the molar mass and this N is the mole number which is the number of moles. So what we can do is replace M with the molar mass multiplied by the mole number. So this is M, this is equal to M N multiplied by the gas constant. And then R, so R is equal to, we've already defined that R is equal to the universal gas constant over the molar mass. So we have M N R U over M. So the molar mass is cancel and this is equal to the mole number multiplied by the universal gas constant. So what we can do is replace the mass times the gas constant with 
the mole number multiplied by the universal gas constant. So this is, is PV is equal to NRUT. So this is another form of the ideal gas law that you'll see. Now let's look at the volume. So this volume is equal to the mole number. So V is equal to the mole number, which is the number of moles, multiplied by the molar specific volume. So let's look at what the let's look at units for the molar specific volume. First of all, this is the molar specific volume. And the units for this are well, this is a volume per mole. So units for this might be meters cubed per kilomole or foot cubed per pound mole. So then if you take, so we've said that the volume is equal to the mole number multiplied by the molar specific volume. So the reason why is because the mole number has units of say kilomole, so it's the number of moles, and then so this is the units for the mole number. And then the molar specific volume has units of say meters cubed per kilomole. So the kilomoles are going to cancel and we're left with meters cubed, which are which is a volume unit and we and we're looking for a volume. So what we can do is replace the volume in this equation with this. So we end up with P N multiplied by the molar specific volume is equal to the mole number multiplied by the universal gas constant multiplied by the temperature. The mole numbers cancel and we're left with P pressure multiplied by the molar specific volume is equal to the universal gas constant multiplied by T. So this is another form of the, of the gas law that you'll see. So let's just summarize these. Um, so the four forms that I went over here are PV is equal to RT. The second form was PV is equal to MRT. The third form is PV is equal to NRUT. And the fourth form is PV is equal to RUT. So then you might be wondering which one you're going to use. So you're going to use the one that most closely matches the, the information that you already know or um, what you're given in a problem. So for instance, let's say that you're given the molar specific volume and temperature and it tells you to calculate the pressure. Then you would want to use this form of the equation. Or let's say that you're given the mole number and the and let's say pressure and volume, then you would want to use this form of the equation. Let's say you're given the pressure and volume and mass and you want to calculate the temperature, then you would use this form of the equation. Or let's say that you're just given like the pressure and temperature and you want to calculate the specific volume, you would use this form of the equation. And remember with these two forms of the equation, R is equal to R U over, over M. And then these two equations have the universal gas constant. If you're not sure which one to use, just write down the information that you have and look at the different forms of the equation and then decide which one will be easiest to use. Thanks for watching.